little bit about the process, about the outcome and about the future prospect for the declaration. We have been working on this declaration for almost a year and very intensely for the last half a year and very vibrantly for the last, for the first four days of Klima Forum. Actually the plenary sessions and the workshops were so vibrant, so I actually, during the last plenary session, I doubt whether it was going to be a great success or not. But looking back, I can see that was just because so many people committed to the process, so many people had so many great viewpoints that they wanted to bring forward. So all the plenary sessions went way beyond the time so we could get as many opinions as possible within this document. This document is definitely not a perfect document. It's a compromise between a lot of viewpoints from, from people coming from every corner of the world, from Denmark, from Latin America, from Asia, from Africa, and they have all different backgrounds and they have all different intentions for bringing their viewpoints into this document. This document should definitely be seen as the beginning, and as Wahokara said, this is the beginning. And I think a lot of people, more than 400 organizations and countless numbers of individuals have signed this declaration. And not all of them agrees with every single word in this document, but they have signed it in the spirit of an overall unity. Because we have to come together if we want to make a difference in the future. And I think that is what the people in Belazeta have misunderstood. They are all very egoist in their way of pushing their own agenda forward. Here at Climate Forum, we have looked beyond that point and we all can see that there is a common goal, a common goal for a more just and sustainable future. And that's why so many people, and it has gone way beyond my expectations, that so many people, more than 400 organizations, and I cannot even count the numbers of individuals, we are still typing them in, have signed this declaration. <laughs> One more thing I would like to say is that I think that Klima Forum here has brought together people, as I said, with different backgrounds, different motiv motivations, some of them wanted to make a document, some of them wanted to go on the street and demonstrate. We have here a title that says, System Change, Not Climate Change. We have all a different way of expressing that. And I think in the future, I think this is a very, very good basis of bringing all those different types of actions together in one single way of moving forward for a more just and more sustainable world. Uh, for the next, if I wanted to, I want to say a little bit about the future as well. We haven't gone into detail about how we're going to use this document. Actually, we did not really think about bringing this document to Belisida because we had so much, uh, we, we spent so much time just working on the document until the very last end. But the end result were, were, was way beyond our expectation and then we thought why not forward, why not try to bring this to the delegations of Bella Center? And I can tell you, a lot of delegations has been very, very, very positive about this declaration. And a lot of them have read it through, some of them have supported it officially, some of them have just given their support, but they all, all of them think that this is a very, very great job that we have done. And we have done what they are not able to do in the Bella Center. We have been able to make one single document that all of us are behind and that's definitely what they're not capable of doing in the Bella Center. And when we were, we were there today having just two minutes to present this declaration, one of the points that, st that stood out was that, that the civil society, the voice of people, the, wo the voice of indigenous people and women and marginalized group in society in societies are not represented at Bella Center and we demand that this document will be circulated as an official document to all the delegations at Bella Center. So for the 
the next two months or so, until the end of February, we plan to continue the sign-on process of this document, both for organizations and for individuals. And we will make a strategy on how we can improve this document and how we can use it more strategically beyond Copenhagen, beyond this meeting, so this is, can be the basis for future work of a global and justice climate movement of all of us that have been here at Climate Forum. Thank you.